अर्ज किया है वो पहली बार जब हम मिले हाथों में हाथ जब हम चले हो गया ये दिल दीवाना होता है प्यार क्या हमने न जाना नो दीज आर द लिरिक्स फ्रॉम अ फेमस बॉलीवुड मूवी सॉन्ग हाउ एवर वॉट्स रेलिवेंट टू यू एज एन ऑन्टरप्रनर इज नॉट होता है प्यार क्या हमने जाना होता है प्रॉफिट क्या हमने जाना वेन यू गेट योर इनिशियल कस्टमर्स बिकॉज दो पहले कस्टमर्स आर द मोस्ट स्पेशल कस्टमर्स एंड दे आर ऑल्सो द कस्टमर्स दैट ट्रबल यू द मोस्ट बिकॉज दे डोंट ट्रस्ट यू इजिली बिकॉज यू जस्ट स्टार्टेड योर बिजनेस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वॉन्ट ब्रेक डाउन फॉर यू सिक्स थिंग्स दैट यू कुड डू टू गेट योर इनिशियल कस्टमर्स विद लो और नो इन्वेस्टमेंट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री The first strategy to get your initial customers is to serve. What do I mean by serve? This is the stage where your focus is not on selling, but your focus should be on serving, where you're willing to provide your product or service at a low cost or at no cost. Because your focus right now is not to make profits. Your focus right now is to get people to trust you and you to deliver the promise of that product or service and deliver the benefits that that customer was looking at so that you build a track record of credible happy customers serving goes a long way in acquiring those initial customers and giving yourself that opportunity of building that initial credibility that you can ride on to acquire your next set of customers so strategy number 1 is to serve at no cost or at a low cost Strategy 2 to get your first customers is to contact your frogs. What do I mean by contact your frogs? Frog stands for friends, relatives, people in your old organizations, people who are a part of your groups, any kind of social groups and S stands for social media contacts. So reach out. When you start a business, be shameless about reaching out to your frogs. reach out to your friends relatives people from your initial organizations where you work people where who are a part of the groups that you are a part of and your social media connections and pitch your product or service and be shameless about it and ask for their support ask for that support by becoming your initial customers that's the simplest way and the no cost way for you to acquire your initial customers strategy number 3 is to educate engage and then sell Today we live in a world where people love information people love knowledge and if you have expertise in your product or service then create content which is educational in nature which is informational in nature which showcases your capability showcases your expertise to people where you talk about solutions to their problems their pain points their needs their desires their fears and their fantasies and when you create this kind of educational content you will naturally see certain people who gravitate who resonate with that content start interacting with you start engaging with that content and as you nurture those people who are engaging with that content and respond to the messages of those who are engaging with that content and build a conversation you create an opportunity for you to be able to pitch your product or service and sell your product or service to them so educate engage and sell is a simple strategy that anybody can use as long as they understand the needs desires problems pain points of their customers and they can give solutions to those needs desires problems and pain points that's your third strategy to get your initial customers which brings me to the fourth strategy the fourth strategy is to run contests and make your customers earn your product or service as a gift or a giveaway contests work magically because this is where your customer is participating to win your product or service so they have skin in the game they have interest in that product or service see sometimes what happens in certain lines of businesses what i've noticed is when people use strategy number 1 which i mentioned in this video which is to serve and they are willing to offer their product or service at no cost or low cost the customer does not take that product or service seriously instead if you run contests and you get your target audience to participate in that contest and you offer your product or service as a gift or a giveaway then there is more skin in the game there's more desire there's an intention to get that product or service and you will see that you attract serious customers who you can engage with using your product or services and creating those initial success stories for yourself so the fourth strategy is to run a contest and make them earn your product or service as a gift or a giveaway which brings me to the fifth strategy that anybody can use today to get their initial customers and that is to join a business referral networking organization there are quite a few in the market out there today who are helping small and medium business owners use the power of referral marketing and get leads through the connections of that group 
and this is a strategy I highly recommend for anyone who's getting started in their journey because you can tap into a networks network and get your initial customers. Now, when you join a business referral networking organization, just remember one rule. Your job is to give value to your fellow members and give genuinely to them. Focus on networking. Don't become a slave of the network and start building the network. Remember, this is a marketing strategy for your business. The organization itself is not your business. This is an important thing for you to keep in mind so that you don't get distracted from your objective of getting your customers through referral marketing. Which brings me to the sixth strategy that you can use to get your initial customers. And the sixth strategy is to freelance for your competitors. No matter what industry you're building your business in, there may be some small or medium established businesses in that industry who may require operational capabilities that they may not have in-house. Offer your services as a freelancer and get your track record being built on the market reach that your competitors have. I'm talking to you about servicing the customers of your competitors who are small segment and mid segment and cannot service customers at scale. This is a great way for you to get your initial projects and for you to get the confidence that you are able to service and handle customers. Freelancing for your competitors is a very underrated strategy that most business owners ignore when they are in the initial stages of their journey, but it's a very powerful and simple strategy that actually works in the real world. So if you found these six strategies useful to get your initial customers, then I want you to continue the learning journey with me. I want you to come to a two and a half hour learning event with me called the Business Success Workshop, where I break down for you the difference between a survival business and a growth business. And specifically, under the strategy of building a growth business, I break down for you how much effort should you be putting on marketing to generate leads and how much effort should you be putting on sales to close deals. This gives you a great jump start to actually go on the journey of building a growth business and not get stuck in the trap of survival. Also at the business success workshop, I give you specific steps for you to follow to be able to build a business which can grow without you. So click on the link below, continue the learning journey, register yourself for the business success workshop and I look forward to seeing you inside.